had these six big cats, two lions and four tigers. They were in Ohio. Uh, their former owner had used them basically for interactions with people. A judge had decided that they were abandoned by their owner and they were given custody to the animal control of Knox County, Ohio. So when we got to Ohio, the whole plan was for these animals to be in small lockout areas. Now, the court-appointed custodians of the animals have been feeding them in smaller cages on the side of their larger yard. And they did indeed have them all um, closed into their smaller area, so when we arrived for transportation, all we had to do, in theory, was take the transport cages right up to the small lockout cages and open the door in between them and have the cats shift over. And of course, we had to wait till the cats felt like doing that, but they were hungry and ready to move into another cage. So luckily, that went pretty smooth. The location where they were at was on the side of a hill, so pushing these transportation cages was a little bit difficult, but we had lots of help and it, it really went very smooth. We actually had the, all the cats loaded and on the truck way faster than we had ever hoped, and we quickly got on the road. We have Big Cat Rescue, where four of the cats, two lions and two tigers, ended up where they'll spend the rest of their life. Now the other two are gonna spend their life at the Wild Animal Orphanage, in San Antonio, Texas, and they are on their way. The four cats are staying here, unloaded perfectly. They're a little tired after the long 18 hour drive. I know I am. And they had a nice big breakfast and now they're enjoying their time and they're really um, just getting used to their new life in Florida. Lots of new smells and sounds. Um, they had a little bit of rain, seen lots of ducks and in the swans out on the lake. Um, lots of strange birds flying overhead. Lots of new stuff to look at. And they're really, they're, they're doing amazingly well. They're starting to calm down, getting really used to the surroundings. Their new cage is about an acre. It has a couple of compartments that have hiding areas. They have new dens to hang out in. Um, the tigers are a little more shy, so they're, they're spending their time in the shade in the den box. But I'm happy to say that they've all been eating and they're all doing great. We want to say thanks to Knox County Animal Control in Ohio. They have been appointed custodian of the cats, so they were the legal owners uh, according to the court. So they needed to find a place for these cats to go. They contacted Big Cat Rescue. We want to say a big thanks to them. They made all this happen. We want to say thanks to IFA, which is the International Fund for Animal Welfare. They funded the entire move. Uh, we want to say a big thanks to the Humane Society of Ohio. They were really great in, in making sure everything went smooth and kind of watching, keeping a watchful eye on the situation. We want to say thank you to Dan Hunt at the Columbus Zoo. He was a great advisor and really went above and beyond the call of duty to help make sure all this happened and these cats got safely transported to Florida. We want to say thanks to our friends at the Wild Animal Orphanage in San Antonio. They provided the transportation, all the transport cages and the trucks. And of course, we want to say thanks to all the volunteers from Big Cat Rescue who helped make this happen and also held down the fort while a lot of our staff was en route to, to pick up these cats and bring them back.